As an example of a balance between quantitative and qualitative measurements, I always like to think of the work environment on a busy ward in a hospital. Managers may wish to measure the efficacy of the nursing input by measuring the amount of time a nurse takes to do a drug round. He or she might be very efficient, very effective, whips around every patient in double quick time, everybody gets the right drug at the right dosage at the right time, which is marvellous. And on a quantitative basis, that may work really well. However, if you're a patient lying in a bed feeling alone and isolated and anxious, you may want to measure something different. You may want to measure the amount of time that nurse spends with you explaining exactly what it is that's in the little plastic cup with the drugs, what effect that will have, or even perish the thought, even just a general checkup on your welfare. The truth is, you probably need a bit of both, but it's important to remember the qualitative aspect as well as the quantitative and who's measuring and whose benefit are we measuring when we're looking at improving performance.